And it's been a rainy weekend. KDK meteorologist Mary Hours is here. And Mary, will we get any relief soon? That's the question we keep asking. So today it's not going to be as rainy. So we will have a few pockets of heavier rain. Nothing widespread. Even yesterday we had plenty of dry time to enjoy and we'll have even more for the second part of the day. We're waking up. We do have some areas of patchy fog, reduced visibility in Franklin down to two miles, down to five miles in Beaver Falls. But that's going to be lifting out here within the next hour or so. When we look at our satellite and radar, we do have activity off to the southwest. So we do have a lot of that moisture that's still moving in unstable through today and for the start of the work week. But right now we just have a few pockets of heavier rain. A lot of those only lasting maybe five to 10 minutes and then moving on. So we're already quieting down in Washington where we had a few pockets of heavier rain. And now we're seeing a lot of these showers and storms just moving well off to the east. So just now east of New Alexandria. So through this afternoon, we just have that chance for a few isolated pop up showers could get a thunderstorm but no thunder and lightning this morning, which is good news. So took take a look at future cast by the time we get to 1 2 o'clock, we could still have the chance for some showers and storms. But once we get to dinner time, things are quieting down. We have a lot of sunshine, so it looks dry if you're heading out to any festivities this evening and also tomorrow morning should be a dry morning commute. By the afternoon, 3 o'clock, areas north of I-80, you have the best chance to see an isolated shower, could have a thunderstorm, and then that chance will last through Tuesday. They become a little bit more widespread, and that'll be through the afternoon with daytime heating. Things will stay very mild and humid and unstable until Wednesday. We'll catch some relief from the humidity. Wednesday will be our last chance of rain for the rest of the week and weekend. So currently we're looking at temperatures at 72 degrees. It is mild. It is muggy. You're going to notice that if you're going out for your walk or run 70 in Washington, just a few light showers, 71 cloudy Franklin, 72 Indiana, but I promise there will be sunshine to enjoy, but find ways to stay cool and hydrated because it's oppressive out there with those dew points in the 70s. That means there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. If you're in a flood prone area, just keep an eye on things. If you get that quick, heavy downpour, you could have some localized flooding once again, but chance is still very low. Only looking at a quick round of showers for the majority of places only lasting about five to 10 minutes and then we'll be drying out. So we'll see extremely humid conditions lasting for the start of the week and then look at that humidity drop off by midweek. It is certainly going to be refreshing and well deserved after what we've been dealing with. Chance for rain will last through Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, looks absolutely fantastic. Your eyes are probably already taking you to the end of the week, but let's get through today, tomorrow and Tuesday. We'll have the chance for some scattered showers and storms. Our lows well above average right around 70 degrees. It's going to feel in the upper 80s for many areas, especially when you factor in that humidity. By Wednesday, scattered showers and storms around. We catch relief from the humidity. Temperatures right around 80 degrees. And by Thursday, Friday and Saturday, mostly sunny, low temperatures even in the mid to upper 50s and high temperatures staying slightly below average with a lot of sunshine.